Hi Steve, this is a uh, video response to your question. So what I've got here on my screen are the two sketches that you've sent me. Um, I was um, just having a look through them and I did spot a couple of things. Uh, but before I get to that, I just wanted to show you uh, what I've done uh, in preparation. First of, of course, I wired up my two Arduinos with the transceivers and uh, I wanted to make sure that they were actually working so I used uh, the two sketches from the Adu Auto course as they come out of uh, GitHub uh, just to make sure and of course I did upload them and my two Arduinos were not communicating with each other and the problem uh, was that I completely mixed up the wirings so in the connector here the the top row I switch it for the wires in the bottom row and vice versa so uh, it's incredible how my Arduino has actually survived this miswiring and anyway I used my uh, multimeter to double check that all the connections were correct as per the, uh, uh, the diagram here that's also part of the course um, so I established the fact that the two Arduinos were communicating and that the transceivers were working properly and then I moved to your sketches. So these are exactly uh, as you've sent me, uh, as you sent them to me uh, through your email and code share. And uh, as I was going through it, uh, the first thing that I noticed were the pipe addresses. So you can see here, this, this one here is the transmitter and um, the writing pipe takes the address at uh, cell zero of this array which is this address here on the other side on the receiver you've got uh, just a single address defined so you are only receiving that you don't want to send acknowledgements back and uh, this is the address that you've set so you can see here that this and that do not match so the first thing that I did was to just copy the address from the transmitter could have done it vice versa of course but anyway I went from the transmitter and pasted that into the receiver um, and then I had a look to see if it actually works so I double check uh, the, uh, the, the the port here so this is uh, 1411 so I'm going to, uh, this is this Arduino here connected to port 1411 so I'll upload that Okay, then I'll move on to the transmitter. I'm going to switch, change the port to 1451 and upload that. Okay, I'm going to switch port back to 1411 because I want to see the monitor for this receiver Arduino. So let's see. So no radio available. So there was something else as well that was causing the problem. Um, what was it? No radio. Oh, <laughs> he may have to do that with the fact that my receiver Arduino doesn't have power. So okay, let's plug that in. I had to uh, try and force. It's a really bad way of doing these things, but I was in a bit of a hurry, of a hurry so I had to force the cables in here. Anyway, I'll actually try without the capacitor. Should be okay on the receiver side. All right, so reset. And still nothing. Probably the same problem with the other side, with the transmitter. All right, stack that in there, reset again. All right, <laughs> and now we've got data. Now if I stop auto scroll, you will see that I've got data transmitting. Um, there's another little issue that I'm gonna talk about in a minute. So uh, what you're seeing here is the fact that the transmitter is sending uh, uh, a byte, you can see here that it's sending a single byte of data to the 
uh, receiver every 150 milliseconds. On the other side, you've got the loop here going around as fast as possible. So it seems that in the amount of time that it takes for the transmitter to send a single byte on the receiver end, we've already had, uh, let's see how many, we've already had uh, all of these loops. So every time you've got this many loops, then the transmitter manages to, to put in a, a byte which the receiver will pick. So if you don't want to be seeing all of these messages during the times that the transceiver is actually sending you something, then all you've got to do is just, just comment this line out and uh, that would do it. Okay, so you, go. you, can, you now have clean data, only the actual bytes that you receive. That's one thing. Another thing that I've noticed is that on the receiver end, you are expecting, uh, so you've got joystick, it's an array. You've got a uh, joystick, which is an, ar an array. It holds uh, integers and it's got two cells in it. And I suppose here you, you are expecting to get two values out of it. On the other side though, on the transmitter, you have a message defined to be uh, a character, so a pointer to um, a character, I suppose you can put multiple characters here, but at the moment you've got just a, a single character A, and then down here where you're actually doing the sending, you are sending off character A and you're telling the transceiver that it's a single byte, so the transceiver will, the transmitter, will send that byte and then move on to try and get an acknowledgement, which you actually never send. So this bit here is, is not doing anything useful. All that up to that point is not use, doing anything useful since you're not sending back an acknowledgement. Um, so uh, so it's a matter of the, the size of the payload. It's only a single byte where you are waiting for two bytes on the other side. Another thing that is happening is that you've got a mismatch of um, data types. So you've got car here, where instead you have, um, you are expecting, where is it? So you are expecting integers. An integer occupies two bytes, where a character occupies a single byte. So you need to take that into account um, when you're sending and transmitting things you want to send and receive uh, as much as possible to the same data type. Okay, so I hope all that helps. Um, uh, have a try uh, by yourself. Just uh, do this couple of fixes and uh, give it a go and uh, let me know if you are still having problems with it.